Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77. Today, I'm going to show you how to build this shulker box filter. This is a great system if you want to filter out your shulker boxes from the regular items. Okay, so just to give you an idea of how this would work really quick is if you put items into this top chest, let's just put in that and that and that and that. You can see it takes all those out. And then down below here, we have in here the items and we have the shulker boxes. This is a fantastic system that you can use in your storage systems and other places where you need to filter out shulker boxes. Let's get started. For the shulker box filter, we're going to need to use one mechanic that is in Minecraft. And that is that if you have a shulker box and you have that open, you can put items in here. You can see that goes in there perfectly fine, but the shulker box does not. So that's kind of like the thing that we're going to be using here for this shulker box filter. To build this, we're going to have two chests here. This is where the items are going to go. And this is where shulker boxes are going to go. Okay. And we're going to have two hoppers going down into those. Those two hoppers will take those items and put them into the appropriate chests, okay? Now, what we're going to have here is we're going to have uh, here a dropper facing to the left here and a shulker box. Now, remember the rule we just talked about is that if an item can be pushed into a shulker, it will go in here. And then, of course, it will be sucked up by the hopper and pushed down into the item chest. But shulker boxes will not go that way. So that we want them to go this way. This is where the decision process is being made, okay? And, of course, if you're loading into the system, you're going to have a hopper and a chest on top, which is your input. Okay, so that's the gist of the whole flow of the items. But now we have to hook up the redstone. The redstone for this is pretty easy. We're gonna start to make a dropper clock first. So make a structure like this that is three blocks out. You wanna put one block on top and one block below in the middle and then take out the middle block. So you basically have a plus sign with the middle block removed, okay? Now, the comparator gets put here. And what this is doing is checking the hopper. As long as items are flowing from the chest through the hopper into the dropper, this will have a signal, okay? Then it goes into this block and powers it. Now we're going to put a redstone dust right here. Make sure it has the crosshairs. In 116, you can have either the crosshairs or you can have it just the dot. Make sure it is the crosshairs, okay? Now we're going to go on this side. We're going to put two blocks here and we're going to put one block up. It's, I can do it by going to the side of the redstone dust. And there it is. Now this redstone dust then, if you think the signal is going across, it's coming into this block. You want to boost that signal here with a repeater set to one tick. And that means that there the, the two uh, redstone torches are close together and a piece of redstone dust. And what this comparator does is it actually compares this and this. And so it turns off, turns on, turns off, turns on, and just cycles while stuff is going through this hopper. Okay. So that's the cycling part now that we got to have it trigger the dropper. And the way we do that is we go in here and put a repeater. So remember this block is getting powered. We'll put that on two ticks. So it's a little bit of a delay, goes into the block and that block powers the dropper, okay? So that's the clock that makes the dropper fire. But what's to prevent this hopper from pulling items out? And this is another trick that we're gonna use. We're gonna put a block down here and a piece of redstone dust with the crosshairs like before. Now, this basically gets powered from this block down through and locks this hopper. So if you think about the flow of timing here, basically this comparator sends a signal around, right? which gets us going on, and this is set to two ticks. What happens is, is this gets locked. The hopper or the dropper gets the chance to fire, but this is locked, so it can't suck the items out. The dropper tries to push it here, and if it's an item, it'll be fine. It'll go through and all the way down like we want. But if it's a shulker box, it won't. It will still be in inside of the dropper. Then this redstone does depowers, which forces this here to unlock this hopper, which allows the shulker that's in there to go down. Okay, and then the process repeats while all of the items are there. Okay, so you can see right now we have basically nothing here and nothing here. Let's throw some items in here. Let's throw three stone and this, 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 and this, okay? So we got some shulker boxes in there. Let's just put everything in there. Why not? You can see it's processing all the stuff. There's a little bit of lag there. But down here, what do we have in the shulkers? We have our two shulker boxes. And down here, we have all of the other items. So you can see, guys, this system is great for separating out items and shulker boxes. There you have it, guys, a shulker filter system that you can use in your builds. I sure hope you like this video. If you do, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you would like to be notified of the videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all notifications. Okay, guys, thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.